hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 5 in which we have to develop the truth table for each of the circuit in figure 5.55 okay so previously we have developed the boolean expressions for all the circuits which are given in figure 5.55 okay uh, so here we have to draw the circuits or develop the truth table for them uh, initially we will consider all the circuits in which the inputs are two which are a and b so let me use them here so these are basically the expressions which we had here so these are a b c and d okay so let me first simplify them uh, so uh, the simplified version of it as we can very easily see that according to the boolean's law a b is here so b dot b is always b okay so let me write this expression as what let me write it like this can be a b okay because a b dot b is following this rule okay this is the part a simplified version for part b we can very easily see that by taking this b common from here what i can get i can get here b a plus 1 okay and according to the boolean's algebra we know that a plus 1 is always 1 because anything plus 1 is always 1 so therefore what i will get here i will get here the simplified version of it and that is here b multiplied by 1 which will ultimately give me b okay uh, similarly the others will remain the same as uh, there is nothing to find here uh, but this will remain the same while for it i can also take this b common from here so here it will be a plus b 1 plus a okay so uh, what i will get here from here i will get a plus uh, here a 1 plus a is 1 so here i will get b okay so the output of it will be a plus b so this is the simplified version of part d okay because from here we have taken this b common okay when this b is taken common from here it will it is now this one and from it the simplified version is a plus b okay so now let me use uh, the uh, table which is for the a and b so let me take different combinations of a b so 0 0 is the first combination 0 1 is the second combination 1 0 is this third and 1 1 is the fourth combination so it has different combinations for part a let me write it with uh, this color so let me use the uh, orange color for for it so here we have this a b this is for part a okay so for part a we have a b so let me write these uh, for it so a b is this is zero this is zero this is zero this is one okay you can see that zero multiplied by zero is zero this is zero this is zero and this is zero so this is the truth table for part a okay similarly for part b let me use some other color uh, so let me use uh, this light green for it so here we have this b okay for uh, this is part b here this is a so for b what will be the output it will be the same as it is here for b so i will get here 0 1 0 1 okay so that is the output which it has so that is for part b here okay so uh, let me separate out by using these okay uh, for b here let me use this one okay this was part a and for these two let me i have used this one so these are basically the values while uh, the outputs are here okay for part c here let me use another color uh, so let me use this right blue for it so for uh, for part c we have what this is a complement plus b so we have a complement plus b and this is for part c and let me draw it like this okay and this one is here so what it will be so let me write it so zero complement zero complement here it will be what it will be uh, one 
1 plus 0 is 1, so it will be 1, okay. Similarly, here 0 complement is 0, uh, 0 complement is 1, 1 plus 1 is again 1, so let me write it here as 1. Here 0 complement, uh, 1 complement is what? Here the 1 complement is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, okay. And here it is, we can see that this is the value of A, A complement is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, okay. So that is the output for part C. Okay. We have seen that we can find out very easily. For the last part here, which is part D, let me choose another color. So, the uh, color I am going to choose here is this one. Let me use this one and that is here uh, A plus B. Okay. So, that is A plus B and this is part D. Okay. So, let me separate it out okay so this is a plus b and now let me write it so a plus 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 1 this is a simple or gate and the output we have got is here this one okay so uh, that is the solution of part uh, uh, D here and here we have solved all the combinations for which the input was composed of two elements which were A and B. In our next uh, part, we will solve all other parts of uh, our uh, question here. So, I think it is enough for today and I will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video. Till then, take care of yourself and I will see you soon.